Street. You're always somewhere else for the important stuff. What? Well, if it wasn't Coltrane, it was Kahukai. If it wasn't Kahukai, it was bloody Dylan. She had an affair, and I've totally forgiven her and everything. It just made me realise that not all marriages survive. Our marriage, my, has turned into a sham, and I don't know what to do about it. But I am not going to let you keep treating me like dirt anymore, because I am over being the villain. Rebecca Jackson. What TV show is she from? It's not here yet. It's good found. <laughs> you are kidding. What is she wearing? It looks like a bedazzler vomited on it. Hey, Dad. Dinner is served. Great. I'm starving. Got your favourites? Buttered chicken with your beloved garlic naan. Yes. Chicken teriyaki. Did you get it with? The udon instead of the rice, of course. Kudos. Okay, so uh, what's the bad news then? I just thought you guys would like a treat. Dad, it was a joke. Uh, at the table or in front of the telly? Telly, definitely. All right, good. What about Mum? Should we leave some for her? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine, son. Well, I'll call her and see if she's home for dinner, eh? No, don't bother. Uh, look, um, if she's hungry, I'll take the wrap, OK? OK, let's dig in. So, how was your day? How come you're so interested all of a sudden? Because I'm your dad, because I care. So, how was your day? It's good. Sure. How about you? Come on, don't let it get cold. Let's go. Here you go. So, are you going to stay the night or head home? It's the last place I want to meet. No, oh, it's Alice up to her party tricks again. Baxter, that prayer circle thing he's got going is driving me nuts. Well, if you can't beat him, maybe you should join him. You, well, you wouldn't think it was so funny if you had to live with it. Hey, that's not very Maori of you, TK. I thought you were into karakia and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, at church on a Sunday, not in my lounge on Friday nights. Oh, it's harmless enough, isn't it? No, no. Baxter's a medical professional. People will listen to him. I mean, take your basic cellulitis. What if someone chooses Baxter's prayer sessions over a course of antibiotics? It's just stupid and dangerous. Someone could lose a limb. Shut up. What? It's a miracle. You actually sounded like a doctor. Well... Hallelujah. Let's hope Callum feels the same way. I've got my review coming up. Oh, is baby a bit nervous? Yeah, we got off on the wrong foot, that's for sure. But I've been cranking out those 50-minute consults, no worries. Patient feedback has been great, so I think I've done enough to impress them. More than enough. Well, amen to that. Oh, that's bad timing. We just finished. It's fine. I already ate. Then that's lucky, isn't it? So, you kids have any homework you need help with? No, I've got an overdue English assignment that needs doing, so knock yourself out, Pops. I won't do it for you, but I am happy to help. How come? Because I'm genuinely interested in what you guys are up to. Because I don't want to be the sort of parent who doesn't know what's going on in their kids' lives. I'm going to take a shower. Hey, Dad, can you help me with my economics homework? It's driving me insane. I'll just do the rubbish, then I'll help you. Go. 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 What? What do you mean? This whole I'm here for you guys routine, I'm over it already. <laughs> At least he cares, not like Mum. Yeah, I'm warning you. Takeaways, homework today, Sunday drives and, and picnics tomorrow. He wants to buy stuff and help us. I'm not going to stand in this you way. You are so shallow. I feel sorry for him. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I just want to keep the peace. You, queen of the ulterior motive. Uh-uh. Coffee? Please. Thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me, Sophie, um, could you please pass the sugar if it's not too much trouble? Oh, you're far too kind. Hey, Dad, thanks again for doing my economics homework. Hey, 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 what happened to I won't do it for you, but I'm happy to help, son? It was getting late. You should be doing your own homework, not getting your father to do it for you. He didn't, not all of it. Besides, it was nice he took the time to help. Oh, I almost forgot. Something's come up and I need a loan. What happened to your allowance? I spent it. What do you need more for? I need a new moisturiser. Unlimited needs, limited means. Haven't they taught you that yet? Is that enough? Thanks, Dad. You're the best. 
You better get a move on, you'll be late. I'm thinking of taking the day off. You freak about our job security and now you're throwing a sickie. You have a department performance review. You can't organise that from home. What's this about job security? Your mother's just being dramatic. I'm not the only one. Can one of you take us to school? Yeah, I'll drop you off on the way to work. Not in front of the kids. Just stop trying to make me look like the bad guy. <laughs> you do that all by yourself, Justine. You would not believe the night that I've just had. What happened? Well, Alice took a break, left me with this new HCA. Tommy's his name. And then a patient had a cardiac arrest. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> I mean, Tommy barely knew what he was doing, so I sent him off to call a Blue 100, and then it was just me, full-on action stations. And the patient? Well, I was touch and go there for a minute, but I gave him CPR, and we got him back. <laughs> Tony was pretty impressed. And so am I. You saved a man's life. That's amazing. Isn't it? Claire? Sorry, I'm just a bit busy at the moment. Huh. Right, well, I'll, uh, I'll see you later then. What is wrong with you? You just rained all over his parade. Hello, Shotland Street. How can I help? Uh, that's just what I was about to ask you. Um, I've got some uh, free time up my sleeve, so if you need me to do anything to help prepare for the review, here I am. Well, there are a number of reports to be compiled. You name it, I'll do it. Anything to help impress Chris? Does it really matter what he thinks? Well, the buck stops with them, right? <laughs> Apparently so. But still, he's bound to be impressed by the way things are going around here. Maybe you're right, and then again, maybe you're wrong. This is no time to be overly confident, TK. Jobs come, jobs go. And some of them aren't even worth the aggravation. Oh, I'm not sure I follow. Right, look, I can't think of anything for you to do off the top of my head, but if I do, I'll let you know, OK? OK. Was there something else? Yeah, um, my personal review. Have you scheduled it yet? No, sorry, I've had other things to focus on. OK. Take the elevator to the second floor, turn left and head through the doors. I'm still waiting. For what? For you to tell me why you shot Baxter down like that. I didn't shoot him down. If my fiancé had told me that he'd just saved a man's life, I wouldn't be telling him that I had work to do. Well, he's barely been speaking to me lately, so why should I care if he suddenly wants to speak to me again? Oh, come on. He's still getting over his mum. Cut him some slack. I have. Not enough. Spit it out. It's almost like we're strangers. Well, somebody's got to take the initiative and get reacquainted. I'm not sure he even wants that. Of course he does. It's obvious. The question is, do you? Careful, Claire. If you keep giving backs to the cold shoulder, you might lose him for good. Is that what you really want? Mm -hmm.